This is Randy Thompson coming to you live with Susan Faulkner, Evans, and Bo. They're competing in first and second level dressage. And we're working on our walks right now, the warm-up walk. Good. Yep, right there is where you've got to get him to step up more from behind when he loses his focus. Okay, now slowly start picking up the reins. So you're going to go from a stretchy walk into a regular, well, your other walks. And our goal will be to keep his throat latch open. So what we're working on with Bo is, just as I said, we're working on getting him to keep his throat latch open as he comes in and out of the different gates. So he doesn't go behind the vertical. Once they go behind the vertical, they're not using their hind legs right. Good. Now feel his steps picking you up. Left, right, left, right, left. And I'm just looking at the back legs. Okay, right there, do you feel anything change? That's where he went behind the vertical. So first we're gonna to try to isolate the feeling of how his body changes. Like here his back is up and, he, and he's uh, pushing differently. That's it. Slowly pick up the reins until you feel him go behind the vertical and that's when we're going to add something new. Good, get him to step up more. Because we're gonna find what length of rein we can ride him in for first and second level where he doesn't go behind the vertical. And going behind the vertical is very common with horses as they move up the levels. Good, keep him active behind. Go into your medium walk. So we're gonna go between the, uh, the free walk, the medium walk, and the collected walk. And just see if we can keep him where he's keeping that same. That's really nice with his back end, by the way. That's it. And now change to another walk. Good, he's picking up his shoulders. Do you feel it? That's the feeling you want in all the walks. Nice with his front end too. Good. Yeah, it doesn't look like you're trying to stuff him into a third level frame or anything like that. Good, and now show us a collected walk. Now with the collected walk, he should sit down more, so you're going to get him a little more animated, keeping that same rhythm. You'll have to shorten your reins first, get him to step up more, more, more. There, right there. Okay, now what we're going to do with the walks is we're going to start adding the leg yield to see if we can get him to step up more from behind as you're changing your walks. So the same thing, we're going to go through the three walks. At the end of your lengthening, you're going to give him a little stretchy walk so he gets a break. Good. More activity. More. Good. And then go straight when he gets it into a medium walk. You're going to use the feeling of the leg yield to keep him more active in his medium walk, which will improve the quality of his leg wheels. Shoulder four. Look between his ears. That's the bending technique taught by Carl Hester, world champion dressage trainer. When you're doing lateral work or looking for the correct bend, you should be able to see between the horse's ears. Good. More activity. A lot more activity. That's it. And our goal is to get him to step under more with his haunches. More, 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 more. Yep, and I'm just trying to get his hawks to step under more. Right there. That's it. Do you feel him, can you feel him picking your seat up any different? Good. That's going to be your goal for his walks. And he's going to lose it a lot because we're pushing him up a little bit. So Susan and Bo have been in the team now for about five years. 2013, they came in fourth place at the USDF Dressage Finals in the Amateur Owner Training Level Championships. And Bo had a lot of issues when she first got him. Keep him active. More. That's where you think, that's good, that's good. So with him, you're gonna to have to think more leg yield with his back end to keep that left high. It's gonna be just a little bit like what you're doing with Darian, isn't it? You've got good feeling of what to do with the front. Now we're making sure you're adding your legs to create that corridor of aids from the inside rein and leg to the outside rein and leg. Good, better activity. That's it, keep the activity up. He needs more, sooner, more sooner, more, more left leg, more. More. There, right there, there. Feeling picking you up different? Good. That's what you're gonna add to your, yep, the leg yields. That's right. 
Now notice when he loses it, it's like his back drops, right? Because you're, you're really isolating that feeling now. So as soon as you feel his drop, back drop, you're going to add your inside leg like a leg yield feeling until he picks up your outside seat foam. That way you'll know he's staying engaged with you. Stepping underneath. Needs more. 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 Right there. Feel him picking you up? It's really subtle. I'm learning how to use a new camcorder here. Good, good. You feel him carrying you different now? That's the carriage he should have in all of his walks. Good. Okay, now let's do some walk zigzags at the leg yield. Remember zigzag, you go like four steps one way, go straight a couple steps and then zigzag the other way, just so you can really get comfortable with using that leg to keep him more active. More activity? His tendency is to lose his rhythm and his lateral work because of the lack of activity. Good, he's stepping under, yep, keep the activity. As soon as you start him in the leg yield, you should start the hind end first. Good, now think hind end, that's it, that's it, do you feel it? So any lateral work, you wanna think you're gonna get the back end active first. One more time with the leg yields zigzag, then we're gonna go into half pass into the turn around the, well, the, the walk pirouette. More activity with the left, right hind, as soon as you change, that's right, straight line. You're going to get his left hind leg active first now when you switch over to the right. More activity with the left hind. More. Sooner. More. Good, 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 good. Straight. Then you're going to get his right hind more active as you go to the left. Get the right hind active first. Good. More. Okay, now we're going to do a half pass at the walk. Halfway across the ring into a large pirouette. Good. Get, make sure he's active. You can feel when he starts his half pass. Is his back end active? Good. Just start whatever size canter pir walk pirouette he can do, keeping him active. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Keep the activity. Left, right, more left leg. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Good, good. Good. And then try it the other direction. Give him a stretch in between, keeping the activity. We're getting ready to go to another show this next weekend. It's the end of July 2015. It is hot, 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 hot. More activity. That's right, more activity. A lot more with his right hind. So that's where you're going to think leg yield with your right leg to get that right side more active. Good. Keep the right side active. Take your time. Shorten your right rein just a little bit. Okay, he doesn't like the shortening too much, but I know we're trying to, we have to do like a walk pirouette or a turn on the haunches, right? And they won't count you bad, bad if you do a walk pirouette. Good. Good. Nice with the activity. Always getting the back end first. Two more turns, yep, and try to do an actual pirouette this time. Keep him active. You should be able to see between his ears for the right bend. Yep, he needs more bend, a lot more bend. There, that helps him stay on the inside hind. Did you feel that? Good, one more to the other direction. So unless he has that right bend for the walk pirouette, he won't be on his inside hind. He has, look between his ears. That's it. There, see how that sets him back different? Good. Good. Good, all right. You ready to try the trot? Oh, you haven't done the other way, I knew that. All right, okay, keep the activity. More activity with your right, left leg. Left leg, left leg, left leg, left leg, left leg. Good, good. That's it. So to get your pirouette shorter, you're going to play with your left rein. Where it's so smaller circle. Your left rein towards the right side and you bring his, remember the bend in the neck. Do you want to do one more to that side? Then we'll give him a break from the pirouettes. Okay, so now you're going to try to do an actual pirouette, turn on the haunches, and just feel the clarity of the steps. By the way, they are much clearer this week. 
Keep them walking, keep them walking. Left leg, left leg, left leg, left leg, left leg. Good girl, good, good. Cause you only have to do half, half ones, right? Oh, perfect. How did that one feel? Yeah, that was nice. He's stepping much clearer now. He didn't drop on the forehand and he's not twisting his head. Good boy.